warrior spirit in me and others like me. And it might not be a lot because our people are so blinded that they don't understand that the enemy is not their friend. And that things have not really changed that much. And those who were our friend in slavery are still our friend today. Those who are enemies, those who were enemies in, in, in the days of, of great suffering, they're still on the island, on the continent of Africa. We've got our enemies that look just like us. They are also the same natured ones that took us into captivity and sold us to the enemy. For every person of every other race who have not done anything to cause our suffering, who does not sit behind closed doors and plot and plan or demise, he said blessings to them, but to our people gather us from the four corners of the earth. Let us wake up one day and look and see and understand that we've been tricked and that we were lied to and that those who mean us no good still continue to do the same in subversive ways, in different ways, calling their hatred a different name. Today, I call upon my friends and those who watch this video who have the same uh, intention for our people who understand the importance of unity and community come together with me all you've got to do is in your mind you desire the same thing and it shall be today i say jamaica will be visited and the spirit of our forbears the blood that was shed on the soil uh, in those very parliament building, individuals who had gone there and for hundreds of years ruled in that space with an iron fist and our people died up in St. Thomas, 1,000 houses burned to the ground, 700 people murdered because they said, we want freedom. We want to feel like we're human beings. Across the border for where, of where I am, hundreds and thousands of black people murdered, whipped, raped, mutilated, hung up on trees and shot down in the road today. Martin Luther King killed, Malcolm X murdered every person who gets up to speak and asks for freedom and say enough is enough, murdered or sent to prison. Things have not changed. I pray for the leaders in the West. I pray for Trudeau, a man of vision, and a man who wants to live peacefully with other men, a man who spring from... another great man who opened the door in this space for African, for African people, for Jamaican people, Pierre Trudeau, may he rest in peace. We do understand that they, we've had friends, but we have far more enemies. Bless us. Bless our people. And let us not be of that mind that we have nothing to offer. And that we are not powerful. And that we are not worthy. Let every child, every boy and girl that watches this video know that we're kings and queens. We are the true original people who did great things in Egypt. Most of which you see now, philosophers and kings and great men of valor learn from our people. I thank you. I thank you for coming here. I thank you for hearing me. I thank you for showing the world that these prayers work and that before we can ask, we have to acknowledge the presence of our ancestors and understand that the energies around us are waiting to be used and to be commanded. And if you are evil and you choose to command evil spirits to do your evil bidding, then you have to live with the consequences because every request that is granted, there's a reward. And it doesn't necessarily have to be evil or good.
So depend on who you call upon, the energies that you invite in your presence. I ask this favor. I acknowledge the presence of our people and the spirit of our forebears. And I said, let the water be troubled in Jamaica. Let the water be troubled. Not business as usual. Let the wicked be confounded. Let them be confused. Let, they, let them open their mouth and reveal their truth. Those who are there just to gain financial wealth for themselves and their family. Let them speak. Let their words spew out of their mouth without control. Let every one of those wicked persons in that parliament building come to that building and be afraid to go in. While they're in there, let them smell fragrant fragrance that is unpleasant, that they have to run out of that building. Let them have to run out of the parliament building because they cannot breathe. Let a sign and wonder be up on that island. And we do not pray against other people. We pray for ours. And until the island of Jamaica become a place where every boy and girl that was born on that soil is feeling blessed to be there. And every person who's there wants to stay there instead of running away to other places where we are hated. To be able to stay in our country and to build, to farm, to teach, to inspire. Let the churches also that are there, that are used to just confuse our people, to trick them, to steal from them. Let every one of them be confounded. Let them be shut down. Let every minister, every pastor in Jamaica who doesn't understand that their role is to not just build their people spiritually, physically, and financially, if they don't share the wealth and teach the people about the truth about their spirituality and stop lying to them about a God that they know nothing about, a lying story that was used to keep us in captivity, let the church get up, let the powerful men in these churches that mean well, that truly love what is pure and good and righteous a living and holy and righteous entity. The thought that man himself is God and God is man. The idea that we are here given the authority and the power to make great changes in this earth, to acknowledge the divine presence of those who are here and those who are gone. Bless our people. Bless our people. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We honor you. We bless your name. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We acknowledge you. We remember 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 what you have done. We remember. We remember, 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 we will not forget. We will not forget our people. We will not forget our people. We stand together in unity, in harmony. Every divisive spirit, every individual who is in a position of power, who has the command of many people, who can use their platform to strengthen our people, to build our country. Every person who has an ability and use it for their own good, for their own selfish gains, for their greed. Get rid of them, spirit. Let them expose themselves. Let them open their mouth and let the people see who they are. Every one of us who have the ability to call our people together, and to reason together, and to plan, and to grow together. And if we use that opportunity in a very selfish way, then I ask our forebears, I ask the spirit guides, I ask the entities around us that are pure and clean to expose them, to destroy them. Peace and love and harmony. 
And we do not forgive those who trespass against us. We refuse to do that. And we do not invite those who hate us to sit at our table and we will not sit at theirs. We'll only sit with those who love us. Because we hear other leaders say, if you don't love us, you have to prove that you love us. And for many years, they have proven that they didn't love us. They murdered our people. They hung our people. They killed our people. They chastised our people. They condemned our people. They lied on our people. They suffered our people. We're not responsible for other people. We're responsible for ourselves. We love us. We love we. We love our people. Wherever they are in the planet, on the continent, we love our people. We love our people. We live accordingly and respectfully with other people. But our love to self and communities first. Blessings. Blessings upon everyone who watched this. Visit them. May these words stay with them for days. And put them in a different meditative state. And let them understand that we're beautiful. We're whole. We're not broken. We're whole. It's only a state of mind. We're whole. We're just. We're right. We're lovely. We're creative. We're awesome. We're all these things. Bless me and my family. Bless us. And not just with financial wealth, but bless us with health and strength. And the ability to reason, to be able to see through dark doors, to see in the midst of darkness. Let me understand peace. Bless my friends. And for my enemies, destroy them. I will not pray for my enemies. Destroy them. Annihilate them. And the enemies don't have to be other people. It is people in my own race. Those who do not want the same thing as me. Those who do not see. And look towards the future for our children and our children's children. Those who are of an individual mind and not a community building mind. Destroy them or change them. If they can change, destroy them. Destroy our enemies. No forgiveness for our enemies. Bless us. Bless us. Bless us. Now, today and forevermore. Stay blessed, everybody.